right in front of the goal, and it's in. Defender and senior number 22, Lewis Liverpool. At midfield, a senior number 11, Nolan Cubs. At midfield, a senior number 10, Ryan Galicic. At defender, a junior number 27, Zachary Warzinski. At midfield, a junior number 19, Vincent Aquaviva. At defender, a sophomore number two, Eli Krishnan. At midfield, a sophomore number eight, Roman Passarelli. At defender, a sophomore number five, Jake Chaliski. At defender, a sophomore, number 15, Gabe Begley. Cam Act is coached by head coach Tom Shutaki. Uh, assisted by Andy Sikorsky, Justin McAfee. And now, here's the starting lineup for tonight's Peters Township Indians. The Indians come up with an overall record of 6 and 2. In goal this evening for the Indians. A junior, number 60, Marcus Biziak. At defender, a junior, number two, Caden Hengler. At defender, a sophomore, number six, Cam Glass. At midfield, a senior, number nine, Nate Fralick. At midfield, a junior, number 10, Brett Martin. At striker this evening, a junior, number 11, Alex Paris. At defender for the Indians, a senior, number 12, Logan Salwich. At midfield, a junior, number 18, Parker Weiss. At midfield, a junior, number 19, Jevin Kelly. At defender, a senior for the Indians, number 21, Adam Sandrowski. And finally for the Indian this evening, at midfield, a senior, number 27, Blake Gablehart. The Indians are coached by head coach Bobby Dyer, assisted by Lucas Heasley, Lewis Osborne, Ryan Kelly, and Mario Mastrangelo. All right, well, thank you for joining us for the Peters Township versus Cannon Mac, the second game of the season. Cannon Mac won the first one at home, and now Peters hosts round two. Max. Really, it's a must-win for Peters if they want to win the section. They need to win this game. Uh, can can a Mac can put them out of contention with the victory here today? So we're looking forward to a good game, Mark. I sure hope so. Better game for us, though. <laughs> hope we don't have that cramping problem like last time. I don't know if you were at the, you weren't at the, if you didn't catch the game the, at uh, Cannon Mac, the first game, they probably had 10 different stoppages of play in the second half for cramping on a night like this, too. Even on a cool night, yeah. It's yeah, it was very surprising. Yeah, below 70 degrees here. Nice night in Peters Township, so we'll see what the condition of the players is. Peters Township's going to start with the ball here with the kickoff. like we've overloaded the right side. They like to play it long. Not a whole lot of deception here. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Parker Weiss plays it long down to the corner. Nate Frolick on the ball, one back by Canna Mack. Nice header in by Logan Sawwich.
Alex Priest on the ball now, crossing it in. That's a dangerous ball for the Kennemack goalkeeper. Yeah, that was skipping up fairly high. He made a good play on that one. Ambitious ball there from Kennemack midfield. Marcus Bizak, no trouble for him in goal. Not sure you got all of that one, Josh. Yeah, a little bit on the side. Looks like they've already got two men on Froelich. Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing if I was playing against him, Mark. <laughs> he's a really skillful player. When he touches the ball, you don't want to give him space. I agree. Caden Hensler cleans it up there for Peters Township, but one back by Kenna Mack. There's Froelich on the ball. Yep. And quick one touches by Cannon Mack there. Really nice. That was a good done. cross, and we didn't come up with it. A uh, good defensive run by Priest there from the from the forward position, coming all the way back. Yeah, it was a checking back. Looks like a throw. Logan Sawich over there will take the throw for Peters Township. Yeah, Bobby's already telling them to settle down and settle in, Josh. They're running around a little haphazardly at this point. Nice tackle there from Cam Glass. It'll be a throw for Canamac here. That ball's in the box. That better get out of there. Uh, cleared up by Caden, but not out by Hensler. But uh, cleaned up nicely by Marcus Bizak. Much better kick. Yeah, he got all that one. Wow. That landed on the 35. Uh, Javin Kelly with a nice trap and turn, but... Ball's cleared up by Kinemak defender. They're sent out, Sandrowski on it. Puts it safely out of play, lets the Peters Township defense reset. It'd be a throw in for Kinemak. Oh, a couple of nice headers by Peters Township. Bretton Martin on the ball. Now Alex Priest with a bit of space. He's got Froelich running to his left. He plays the ball, but just a bit too far. Mark, that's the first promising attack we've seen from Peters Township. Uh, that is game. exactly correct. I thought they had something there. Froelich was pretty wide open, and the defender just got in the way like he's supposed to. Kenna Mack of a free kick in a dangerous area here with a chance to play the ball into the box. Looks like that's Luke Gilvick on the ball, number 24 for Kenna Mack. These plays have not been good to us this year. Let's hope this is different. Let's see if Kenna Mack can make something of the set piece. Uh, ball's cleared well by Peter Township out for Kenna Mack's first corner kick of the day. Nolan Clue's going to be on this one to take the corner kick. Looks like it'll be an outswinger. Pretty much everybody's in the box. Yeah, low corner. Ah, uh, great play by Frillick to get it out. Now Peter Township has a chance to break. Paris is on the ball, or Blake Gablehart, excuse that's me, Blake. is on the yeah, ball. That's Blake. He's going to wow. run by that kid. What a there save. There it is. Oh, it's in front. Oh, my goodness. What a great Incredible save. Incredible run from... Gable Hart, but an even better save by the Cannon Mac goalkeeper. Full uh, extension on that one. Wow. That's all I have to say about that one. Looks like Martin just got hit in the face with the ball. He's down. Play's continuing for the moment. Uh, 
Well, Mark, we haven't called Gable Hart's name yet, but, man, one touch on the ball. and He is probably the fastest guy out there. You can see what he can do with it. And oh, yeah. Just. I mean, he ran by the defender. At least one. And then the same guy again and had a shot on goal. That's Ryan Simonette, the Canna Mac goalkeeper, a senior with a save to keep game even early. Well, there's a the nice through ball. Nice Alex play. Priest couldn't quite get on the end of it. Another great job by the Canna Mac goalkeeper on the spot there. They seem to have a history of good goalkeepers, Josh. A couple years ago, same thing. He graduated, but boy, was he tough. Ball's won there by Froelich. Brett Martin of the train seems to be okay after taking that knock. Yeah, we don't need anyone else hurt, Josh. Cleared up and out of play. It'll be a throw in for Peters Township. Sawich over there will take the throw. That was a good skip for us. Back to the 20. Somebody could get on that. We might have something. But no. Kinemak now with a chance to break out. Some space. The ball comes across. Well cleared by Adam Sandrowski. Frillick now with a touch to Martin. One touch off to Gable Hart. Really back and forth action here today. This is some exciting soccer. It is. Jeff and Kelly driving forward. Yet. Jevin Kelly still on the ball. Beats another player right across no, the face of goal. Nobody on that other post for Peters Township. Kinemak wins the ball there, but just as far as saw what she keeps it in. Oh, brought down nicely by Froelich. A nice bit of skill there. But good defense from Kinemak. Sawich with the ball in. That's Cleared up, not potential. out. Uh, I think the header was by Martin, but it's just not enough on it. No, that, that's tough when that ball's so high, right, to get any power behind that. Yeah, you almost have to whip your head in a certain direction. It's easy for the Cannon Mac goalkeeper that time. Yep. But Peter Sanchez continuing to apply the pressure. The really the last five minutes or so, they've turned it up a notch here yeah. against Cannon Mac. Yeah, they Starting really have. Oh, there's another one. Oh, uh, well cleared I by I would Kenna have Mack. loved to have seen Gable Hart one time that with his left. The whole left side of the net was open. Are we going to see a long throw here from Sandrowski, Mark? I think so. He's got those long arms. Look at that one. Wow, all the way into the box. All the way into the middle. Quite find the goal though. Some nice hold up to the play there from the Canamax center forward, but the ball goes out of play. Well, this is what we want so far, Josh. We want to keep the ball in their end, obviously. Now, got to make them pay for it. Foul there on Froelich. A little push in the back. Can't have a chance to relieve some of the pressure here. And it looks like they're willing to take their time and move everybody up the field. Oh, ball well won there by Parker Weiss. Out of play, that'll be a throw for Cannon Mac, though. Well, after a nervy few minutes for Peters Township, it seems like they've really found their legs and picked up the pace. Long throw from Cannon Mac into the box, cleared from Peters, but not out. It skips through 
to be Zach, but no trouble for him. Yeah, I certainly like the way this is picked up for Peters Township, obviously. Kennemack wins the ball off the punt. Now look at working down the right side. Well, that one's handled by Parker, but not quite out. Uh, well won by Jevin Kelly. Martin on it now. Plays it to Gable Hart. Looking to gain control. You gotta try to that run around that boy. Speed again. And a nice pass. Well done cross. Just cleared by Kenna Mack. Gable Hart with a header, but not quite enough. Wow. Josh, we were all over them again. I mean, can't get it in the net. Yet. Gable Hart's speed has been. I think the difference so far, that's the second attack he's created almost out of nothing. Yeah, that centering pass he had was tremendous. Uh, cleared up by Hensler there. One back by Kenamak. Hensler plays it up with a header again. There it goes. Uh, Gable Hart just missed it. But right footer for look, and here's Gable Hart again with some space. Tell he's you, able to Frillick. Sets beautiful passes. Yeah, the weight there was just ideal. Gable Hart taken down to the box. No call. Nothing I think that was it. a good no call. Tim. Tim. Josh. I don't know why I want to call you Tim tonight. I'm really okay with either. <laughs> <laughs> You're being a good sport. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Kenny Mack immediately on Froelich, shutting down the space. But Sawich now with a little bit of room. Long ball in, can't quite, can't quite find it ahead of anyone on Peter Sancho. There's Sandrowski in advanced position. Oh, and a quick little touch from Gable Hart. Couldn't quite connect. The give and go. Kenny Mack looking to break, but cleaned up there by Sawich. Not quite out. Played in by Cannon Mack, but that'll be easy for Bizak again. You yeah. know, Mark, I'd like to see Peter Township get something out of these attacks because uh, the longer it stays 0 0, the more of a chance Cannon Mack will get a goal, and then they may be able to change tactics. And that is absolutely correct. We've had games like that in the past where we outplayed the other team and they got a goal and we didn't. That ball's one in the center of field by Parker, but. Uh, Martin on the ball now. A couple of nice touches to control it. We sure Dropped have most of the play down here, I'll tell you. Nice move to find space by Sandrowski, but the final pass just couldn't connect. Sandrowski, he's really played well the last few games. So is Sawich on the other side. Yeah, I think that's the strength of the team, the outside backs, both defensively and in the attack. They can both get down the field. You're exactly right. Also, Sawich has those pink shoes. I certainly couldn't pull those off. <laughs> Ken and Mack with their first substitute to the game coming on now. Looks like they've brought on Zachary Wickard, number 12, and Noah DiRocco, number nine. Good play by Glass. One there by Glass, it's up. Back to Cannon Mack, but Jevin Kelly wins it for Peter Township. Now Martin on the ball. Let's see Martin's left leg. Finds Paris. Tries to tuck it through, but not on the same page as Martin there, but held in by Froelich very well. You see us going for the ball much more so than Cannon Mack has. Oh, what a great shot by Martin. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Just a little high. Actually hit the uh, hit bottom the of the football goal post on that one. Yeah. But it was deflected. Uh, so I guess it'll be a corner kick for Peters Township. Their first corner kick. Jevin Kelly to take the corner. It'll be an in-swinger here for Peters. Let's see what they can do from their first set piece for the game. Ball's in and headed clear by Cannon Mack. You notice we're still the first ones to the ball all the time. 
Our kids are out hustling them so far. That's a good indicator. Some of the games are earlier in the season. You know, Peter Sanchez is not winning those 50-50 balls. But. That's absolutely true. Played forward by Jevin Kelly, but a little too strong. A bit ambitious on that one. Simonette from Kennebec to punt it out again. Oh, I'm sorry. He'll stand and play it on the ground. Well, he figured out he was outside the goalie box is what happened, Josh. And he looked down and said, I better not. Smart play. Yeah. If he picks it up, they we get a free kick is my understanding from that spot. I think you're right, Mark. That could be in a dangerous area. Looks like Peter Stonchup's writing their first substitute to the game. 16 minutes in. Yeah, it looks like you've got Smiga and uh, Braden's coming in, as well as uh, Dante. Your eyes are better than mine, Mark. I, I have just to recognize say. them by their shape. Uh, I can't see the numbers <laughs> from this distance. Move. I've seen too many of these kids playing soccer. <laughs> yeah, that's Apple on the right, and I think in the middle there is uh, Dante, and on the left is Smiga. I think you're right. Weiss on the ball now. Plays it back to Sawich. Nice turn by Jevin Kelly right to Brad Martin. Can't quite connect with Froelich, but he's on the ball now. Two Again, guys on Froelich. Two, two guys on him, right? You can't give him space in the midfield. Wide to Gablehart. He's going to keep it in in control. Looks like the ball was out of play. Yeah, it went out. He tried to keep it in with a header and to get back to it, but. Be a throw for Ken and Mack deep in their own end. I'm not correct. Peter Sanchez cannot substitute now because it's a throw-in for the opposing team. Are these correct substitution rules here? So they'll have to wait till they can get a stoppage and substitute. Good point. <laughs> Kelly with it now. Back to Martin, looking for that ball to sit down on that left foot. Oh, what a turn by Martin with the right foot, oh just my. wide. Goodness, Josh. The turn was he's a left really well footer. Played. Wow. That was a pretty strong right foot. So it looks Not like as dominant. Peter Township is changing out there. Forwards. Smiga will play the nine at the top with Apple on the left side. Pusateri on the right. It's going to go out of bounds, Josh. I don't think that's what Canamac was looking for. No, unlucky on that one for sure. Yes, a little unlucky. Throw in there from Sandrowski. Nice header by Smiga. Pusateri fighting for the ball on the sideline there. Unable to win it. Kenny Mag throw again. Well, our last group of forwards had uh, some, some success, I'll call it. Let's hope this group can. Kenny Mack with the throw. Header back in. Oh, Smiga's got some space now down the right sideline. Cross is in, but just behind the goal out for a Canamac goal kick harmlessly. Uh, too tough an angle, I guess. It's difficult to get turn and get that ball curving back in. Yes. Agreed. Not much to hoot and holler for on either side right now. Be quiet on your Canamac groups. Yeah, they've not threatened the Peter Township goal, I think, any time yet today. No, nothing seriously, Josh. Not at all. Uh-oh, okay. I think we have a hurt player. Canamac players yes. down after the challenge in the air there. He's on his back, so I can't catch a number. Oh, boy. Just called for the trainer. Looked a little bit like uh, uh, the two heads collided when uh, they were both trying to head the ball. Looks like the player's up now. And he should sit down. That could be a concussion. He doesn't want to no, run around. Yeah, head injuries are no joke. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
I guess they're not even going to stop play. They don't need to substitute for him. Okay. He's staying on the field. Yeah, bring him out. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see he's up and going. Going about. Oh, okay. Now they will bring on a substitute. Well, That's number 23, sense. Gavin Patterson on. Yep. For Ken and Mac. That's Gavin. He's a young player I know. Number Good 10. Player. Ryan Galsiak was the one who was shaken up on the play. I think he's the senior. He might even be the captain. He, got he, a he, warm, he is one of the captains, yeah, yes. He got a warm applause uh, when he, uh, not that they all didn't, but especially him. So he's probably a pretty key player. Ah. Uh, Nice flick on Heather by Sandrowski. Pusateri just couldn't keep it in on the touch line. Can not mack the throw again? Ah, oh, but now out of play for a Peters Township throw in. Well, Mark, we're about 20 minutes in. What's your take on the game so far? Well, Josh, I mean, we've controlled the ball. We've had it at their end. We've had excellent chances, but it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, I'm going back to that key save from the Kennemack goalkeeper on Gable Hearth. Um, that was a nice save. That's, that's really the difference so far. By far the best chance of the game. Long throw in from Sandrowski. Falls to the ground there. We've had the ball rolling in front of a scrum. so many times. Right in front of the net, in the box. Cleared up but not out. Froelich now looking for Apple in the corner. Apple 1v1. Uh, Canamac done well to win a goal kick out of that situation. I thought Apple was going to kick that into the Canamac player to get the corner. Instead, the opposite happened. Looks like number 10's back in, Josh. Hopefully he was cleared and ready to go. Yeah, it's good to see he got back out there. Absolutely. Well taken goal kick from the Canamac goalie, but Jevin Kelly brings it down with a nice touch to Froelich. Once again, we're first to the ball. And Froelich with two guys and still is able to find space and make a pass. Good play by Kenny Mack on Sawich, but Sawich does not give up and now wins the ball down yeah, the line. Takes it back. There it is to Smiga, now to Apple. Apple looking for a cross. I think we're getting a I call for a handball yeah. there Kenny Mack. That's, That's surprising. I think that was the right call, but oh, this is going to put a Kennemack in a dangerous situation here with a nice set piece. Yeah, I think he called it probably, Josh, because that uh, the, uh, that boot by Martin was hindered because of that. Otherwise, it would have been in front of the net. Weiss plays it in. It's off the wall, and the Kennemack goalie is able to save it. That was a great save. What a save. corner kick. Heads up play there. Yeah, that should have been out of bounds for us. You know, Weiss has had success recently with those low low taken kicks trying to go under the wall. He had a goal the other day, right, with one of those. That's an interesting tactic, but seems to be working well for him. Sandrowski on the header now. That's how uh, Upper St. Clair scored against us a week or so ago. Oh, the same way? A, a low, low kick like that. And a it, low free kick, yeah. yeah. And it went through our, our wall, caught the other side of the goal. You will see some teams have a player lay on the ground behind the wall nowadays, right? To allow the wall to jump and still have someone to. That's a great idea. Unless you're the player laying on the ground behind the wall. Well, looks like uh, Smiga, that should be pretty much, oh, I am shocked he did not get a yellow card. He had both forearms out and he pushed number 15, who's Gabe Fegley, really good young player. Pretty much knocked him over, Josh. Well, looks like you got a warning from the referee. So well, I know next Fegley's, time it'll tough. Probably be, uh... Fegley's tough. <laughs> He's knocked a few over in his day, I'm sure. Ball in the box now from Kenna Mack. Cleared up and out by Peters Township. Looks like it calls a throw in for Peters Township. Yeah, somebody didn't seem to believe that out there on the other side, but uh, apparently it's red ball. Uh, nobody under that throw. Kenna Mack received it in the midfield with some space, but unable to do much with it on that attack. Smiga 
Wins the ball for Peters Township. Now Apple on it. Our guys are still faster to the ball, Josh. Every time. They're winning all the 50-50 balls. Hensler clears the header up. Not for like Cannon Mack with a oh really a ripped shot there, but well wide of the goal goal key, goalkeeper. It was never really in any danger. It was the amount of speed on that shot, I think, Josh, that oh, surprised nice. everyone. I think he caught it in midair too. Yeah, on the half volley. It was volley. a volley. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't off the. It was on the ground at the time. It was a well taken shot. It really was. <laughs> For a look on the ball now. A lot of headers tonight, too. Ooh, a lot of them that are borderline. Seems to be the balls in the air a lot. I know Peter Township has had most attacking success with the ball on the ground, those through balls, um, using their speed up top. They'd probably like to get back to that. But after a foul by Peter Township, Kenan Mack now with an opportunity to play it in. Peters Township defense holding just outside the penalty box. It's a pretty good kick, Josh. Yeah, well taken it's definitely there. definitely down in our box. Balls. Saved by Cam. Cleared out by Cam. Oh, a nice turn from Apple there. But the speed of the Cannon Mac player is too much. Apple still wins it back. Apple, yeah, Apple still got oh, a Oh, Jevin Kelly cut end. off that pass. A nice interception from him. And he's driving forward now. But tackled by Cannon Mac there. I'd like to see Jevin dump that ball off and break left and get it back. More substitutes now coming on for Peters Township. Looks like Kelly's coming off. We're seeing Martin uh, and Paris back on as well as Gablehart. Yeah. So it looks like they move Smiga back to the 10. Um, And put the uh, original three starters back up front. Paris, Martin, Gablehart. and Gablehart there. Well, like you said, Josh, those three guys up front have had the most success. So here they are. We're going to try another time. Sandrowski now to throw in. Touch across by Martin, but cleared out by Kenneth Mack for How another in the throw. the world does no one step in front of that ball just flying? I mean, I'm really surprised. Kaden Mack looks very slow tonight. I'm very surprised. Attempted long ball by Kaden Mack, but Hensler cleans it up there. Ford for Paris now on the ball, looking to gain control. Oh, there's a good battle there. Looks like Peter Sanchez ends up giving called. the fall, giving the foul there. Yeah. Was it Pusateri? I think that was Paris, actually, Mark. Oh, good. We both got it. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Stick to our day jobs, Josh. Simonette with another good long ball from the goalkeeper position, but clear there by Sandrowski. Up to Paris, one by Kenna Mack. But it'll be out for a Peter Township throw. Peter Township looking to go quickly here. And they did. To Weiss. Uh, good job to win the ball by Weiss. Still with the ball now. An incisive pass there to Gablehart. Uh, and here's Sandrowski coming forward. Just too Just high for Martin. Too high. Well, that's what we talked about earlier, Mark. The attacking capability of these outside backs is really strong, right? Yeah, that was something completely different. You're right. Uh, and the ability for Sandrowski to get into the play late. He was unmarked and not accounted for by Canamax defense. Well, I think they thought Gablehart was going to take it, and Gablehart let it go, which set up a different play. Corner kick now, second one of the day for Peters Township. It's through with no one touching it. Looks like uh, well won by Sandrowski there. Up that to was a nice play. Uh, out of play, though. I think that was Smigo on the corner kick with a, with a nice ball in. Just couldn't find, the, couldn't find anyone's head. Yeah, there was nobody on the other side of the net. We got to cover that far post. Let's see what the call is here. That one could have gone either way. It could have. That was just a tangling of feet as far as I was concerned. Uh -huh. 
Looks like Sandrowski will play this one in. This is his shot. A lot of players forward for Peters Township now. It's a driven ball in, but cleared by Kenna Mack. Sawatch plays it back that in with a potential. nice ball. Paris. There it is. That was bound to happen, Josh. You can't let the ball roll around in front of your net. That was Brett Martin on the goal for Peters Township. Well finished. He had two, uh, I think, last game. He's had a good season so far. That kid can score. And all the pressure finally pays off for Peters Township, finding the back of the net. That is very reassuring. Let's see how Kenamac responds now. Good point. Will they get tougher or let us keep getting to the ball first? Ball's out of play for a Peters Township throw in here. That one almost went in the old concession stand. Priest played the ball in the middle there, but couldn't find a connecting pass. Sawich plays it back in. Here's Gablehart with an opportunity now, but well cleared by Cannon Mack. Froelich on the ball now. Guys need to talk. Gets the ball across. Right in front again. And looks like a foul. That was a shove or a push on Peter's us. Township there, but a nice run by Froelich to beat two Cannon Mack defenders and get the ball in. Yeah, I'll tell you, Josh, I haven't seen that kind of play out of Cannon Mack yet tonight. I mean, they've had that one hard shot, but that was from out in front. Not much misdirection. Now everything's been kind of, yeah, straight down the field from Cannon Mack. Maybe looking to move the ball a bit. But here's an opportunity down the right side. Ball's across all the way through, just clear at the last moment. I think that was Adam Sandrowski with the quick foot to get it out. But the danger's not done. Cannon Mack still attacking. Good pass across the field, but well cleared there by Sawich. You know, I have to hand it to Peter's Township defense. Um, the back four have really stood up well. Marcus Bizak and goal has not had much to do yet because they've kept it pretty clean. Yeah, they really have. You're right. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot easier to play goaltender with those four in front of you. That's a long throw from Cannon Mack. All the way to the penalty spot. Corral there on the clearance by Paris. He was now just confident he could run by. Looking for Martin, who he finds. Back to Paris. He's got Gable Hart running, but well cut off by the Kennemack defender there. A couple of headers from Kennemack, but Parker Wise now the feet of Froelich. Froelich with some more magic with his feet to find space. In now to Martin, but cleared out of out of play by Cannon Mack. Well, that was a good play. That was fortunate for us because the goalie was going to pick that up, and it would have been a goalie kick. Instead, they kicked it out. Now we're we've got a throw in. Adam Smiga there with a the long throw in, and he plays it back in, handled by the Cannon Mack goalie, and then he dove on the rebound. I'll tell you what, Mark, this group from Peters Township really seems to be clicking right now. Um, a lot of good ball movement. From the beginning of the year, I've seen all the games so far, Josh, and they just keep getting better. Ball's won there by Froelich, but... I think they're going to get him for holding. A foul there, so... about 35 yards out from goal. I don't expect a direct shot here from Cannon Mack. That would be a bit ambitious, but Peter Township using three men in the wall, just in case. Yeah, 25 yard line, 737 to play, first half. 
That's over everything. Yeah, no, I was always going over the goal. It was a nice field goal. Marcus Bizak on the goal kick. All the way to Martin there. And out of play. Looks like Peters Township's bringing Jevin Kelly back on for Adam Smiga. You know, I noticed that they kick the ball out of play quite a bit uh, when they're pressured. And we don't do that. I haven't seen us do that all year. For a look on the ball, now back to Sawich. Plays it forward. The flick on there from Kelly to Martin. Sawich on it again. Looking for Martin, can't find him. Kelly with a nice shoulder pop there, driving on the goal. But it's well wide, although he did hit the field hockey goal, I believe that is. Mark. Yes, yes, he, there's another net, and I'm sure he knows he got the wrong one. Yeah, Peter Sancho first to the ball again, but Cannon Mack on it now. Tana Mack looks a lot better all of a sudden. Uh, one out there by Sandrowski. They're playing with a little more heart now. That's out of play in for a Cannon Mack throw. Right in front of the Peters Township bench. Long throw again from Cannon Mack, but looks like Sawatch will shepherd the ball out. No, Cannon Mack player got a foot to it. That was dangerous. That was a nice play by the Canamac player. He kicked it right yes. in front of the goal. And great job of being alert there from Bizak yes. and Peters Township to be alert to that one and yes. take care of the danger. Whoop. Looks like the punt came a little outside of his foot, but Sandrowski's there. And now Frolik with the header. He'll draw a foul from Canamac. I saw that one coming. Two guys had him sandwiched. About five minutes left in the half. Let's see if Peter Township can find another goal. They've certainly had the better of the play. All the last two or three minutes, we've seen that spark from Kenna Mack. So game well, is far from over. They beat us once. They always give us trouble. I don't ever count them. Ball in from Sandrowski. Falling in the box again. The third or fourth time that ball has just been laying on the ground in the box. Parker Weiss plays it over. Priest has it. He's onside with yep. an opportunity. It's top to Weiss. Weiss on that left foot. Looks like it's blocked by, at least partially, by Kenna Mack. And into that the was a the nice keeper. block by Gavin Patterson. Very yeah. nice. You don't let Weiss shoot from that distance. He can do No. <laughs> He's very good at that open shot. Hensler clears the danger for Peters Township. Here's Gable Hart. He'll go well right. Defended, but he does get the corner. The ball's across just into the outside of the goal. Yeah, that was a, just too much on it there, Josh. I would like to have seen that one just popped up over in the, in the middle of, in front of the goal. I love to watch Gable Hart play, though. Every time he gets the ball, there's a... Something's going to happen. That kid is fast. And he wins the ball there off the goal kick. Martin now providing pressure. Ball's out for a Canamac throw. Well won by the Canamac defender there. That throw went through everyone. Canamac with a little bit of space now. Plays a long ball, but cleaned up by Hensler. To the foot of a Cannon Mac player. Now Cannon Mac moving forward. That's oh, a nice problem. Well, that was a promising attack from Cannon Mac there. I think Peter Sanchez was lucky that ball was over the goal. It may not have been anything goalie Marcus Bizet could do about that one. That was headed for that right corner, and you're right, Josh. Those are the plays that scare me when you know we have a lead. Well, I said earlier, Kenny Mack definitely has picked up the pace now. So. Very much so. Looking to go into the half even. 
Sosh now plays it forward. There's Martin on the header. One by Cannon Mac, but now with the feet of Paris. Finds Jevin Kelly. But Cannon Mac wins the ball back. Uh, Cam Glasner's. Sandrowski again on the ball. Parker Weiss controls. Looks like I we got a handball. I think everybody in the stadium made that call. <laughs> This well, this game has been played about 10 feet to 20 feet off the ground the whole time. Yes. It's been nothing but air ball. Well, here's Sandrowski to take a kick in a very dangerous area. Peter Sanchez now moving everyone up. Sawich is there as well. With just two minutes left, they're looking to pick up another goal here. The driven ball in, but a little too flat right to the goalkeeper. I thought he pooched that one a little bit and tried to get it up in the air. I think he'd like to have that one back. A little more bend is probably what he's looking for. Ball is cleared up by Peters Township. Priest looking to win it, and looks like he's won a throw for Peters Township. No, excuse me, Cannon Mack on the throw. Cannon Mack with late subs in here. Zachary Wicker, number 12, is back on. Nolan Clue comes off. Under a minute remaining. I think neither team wants to give up a goal at this point of the half. Yeah, this is dangerous territory. Uh, for a Canamac throw, and they do have a long throw here. Um, I think we'll expect to see the ball near the penalty spot. Yeah, this kid starts back at the end of the warning track. And it is, and it's in the box, bouncing. Luziak punched it out once. Up. Not out yet, danger is still there. Cam got his foot on it, moved it away. Alex Priest finally gets the ball out of play. Yeah, moved it away, but not out. Excellent play by Marcus Biziak there to get a hand on that ball amidst all the bodies. Here we go again, Josh, with now 14 seconds, same play. Another throw all the way into the box. Biziak stays in the goal this time, punches it out. Looks like there's a foul, and that'll be the end of the Thank half. Thank goodness mark. that foul was against Kaden Mack, or that was a penalty kick. So well, that was a great half of soccer. I'm looking forward to the second half. Should be good. All right, Mark. Well, we're getting ready to start the second half of Peter Sancho versus Cannon Mack here. Um, we had a goal by Brett Martin. Is the difference? Uh, 28th minute from Peter's Township, um, and a couple of opportunities both sides that did not end up in the back of the net. What are you looking for the second half, Mark? Well, I'm, I'm looking at a game that's going to get a little tighter and a little closer, just like it ended in the uh, first half. I think Cannon Mac uh, woke up a little bit, so our guys got to be ready. Yeah, really important team game for both teams. Uh, Peter Township needs to win this game to have a chance at winning the section. Uh, if Cannon Mac wins, they'll put Peter Township out of contention and put themselves in the driver's seat. Cannon Mac to start with the ball. Seems to be a pretty common theme in Western Pennsylvania high school soccer. That long kick off to the corner. Yeah, just a kick ball. And then force them to bring it out. There's Parker Weiss with a nice ball over the top. Peter Sancho looking to use that speed, but... Couldn't catch up to that one. Goalie Ryman Simonette off his line quickly to snuff out the attack. That ball bounces a long way on that one. A nice overhead kick from Sandrowski there. Well, we're definitely going to get a foul there. Looks like a kick for Cannon Mack. It's kind of interesting. It looks like this half, Sandrowski's moved to the left back position, and Sawich is on the right side. Um, they've switched for the second half. That's a He's short. A lefty. Taking short, Sandrowski wins the ball well there, but Cannon Mac player still on the ball. But it goes harmlessly out for a goal kick. That was pretty good defense, Josh, to get over there and be ready to intercept that pass from the, from the corner. We've seen attacks at both ends right out of the gate here in the first two minutes. Looking for an exciting half of soccer here. Ball 
ball bounces all the way through to Priest there in Peters Township. He can't quite control it. Now Cannon Mack on the ball, but strong tackle from Froelich. Cannon Mack player gets up slowly. Let's hope he's okay. Yeah, that was all ball by Froelich. Segley's a big boy, but that still, still hurts. Still hurts, yeah. Priest wins the ball there. Uh, Cannon Mack with a nice tackle. See how they're moving quicker to the ball now. Definitely. We're seeing a lot more energy out of them today. Or in the second half, rather. Oh, but a nice tackle there from Caden Hensler. Plays it long to Martin with a header. See if Martin can run that one down. Come on, Martin. He's on the ball now. Just couldn't connect with Gable Hart. That was a good pass back, too. Yeah, the right idea there. Not quite on the same page, though. Cannon Mack now moving it up, but there's Sandrowski to clear the, clear the ball back forward. One there by Martin. Yeah, they're just going to say that uh, I think Paris backed into the defender. Okay, so it'll be a kick for Cannon Mack coming out. Goalie Simonette will take it. He's certainly got a strong leg. These set pieces, kicks from him have traveled a long distance, easily 50 yards in the air. Ball's one there by Sandrowski. Oh, nice turn by Paris. Now Martin on the ball. He does have three numbers, three defenders. Kenny Mack has numbers back. But closing speed. Finds Gable Hart with that speed, and Peters Township has won a corner kick. Peters really made something out of nothing there. I'll tell you, Josh. Gable Hart ran right by that defender to get that long pass. Kick will be coming in from Jevin Kelly here. Takes a moment to lace his boot. Play an in-swinger. This will be Peter Township's third corner kick of the game. So far, not much danger from the set pieces. That's well taken in, and a header clear by Cannon Mack. Or Peter Township, rather. Sorry, it'll be off for a goal kick. That one had a chance. That was uh, the most dangerous corner kick we've seen today, yeah, I think. Yeah, that one was high enough and in the right spot. The others have all been, quite frankly, too long. Couldn't get it directed on goal. Simon out with a shorter kick this time, but it... Bounces, and it's won by Cannon Mack there. Oh, Hensler clears it up. Now Glass on the ball. Oh, well done to turn and use his left foot. Yeah, good play by Glass. Priest with a quick touch, but the danger clear by the Cannon Mack center back there, and immediately the other end. Sarch does well to clear the danger. Boy, I'm seeing Cannon Mack win more of these 50-50 balls. In this half, I'm not sure what their coach has said at halftime, but it has uh, picked up the pace, hasn't it? Make for a better game. This guy might get a hot dog before he throws this one. <laughs> All the way back by the concession stand. In headed by Kenamac, but not into the goal. Froelich with an overhead clearance to clear the danger. We'll see if the Cannon Mac player comes across for another long throw. He's made a long run all the way across the field, Mark. 22's their guy. Why, why, why? It isn't broken. Doesn't have as much room here, but. Yeah, another long throw into the box. Yeah. Flicked on by Cannon Mac. Another flick. Out well by Hansler. Gablehart's got time to turn. Clears it out. Uh, just missed by Martin. Cannon Mac retains control, but nicely done by Weiss. Now a long ball. Looking for the speed of Paris. Simonet out That's of the box. Chance. Goalie's out. Well blocked by Cannon Mack. And there's Can you Gablehart. believe that? Well, Simonet from Cannon Mack had no chance. He had to come out and play that ball with his feet, which he did. But it ended up right That was the defender's foot, right? I'm, I'm not sure who got a touchdown. I'm fairly it. certain the goalie was completely out of there, out of the box. Oh, yes, the second shot was The was second saved shot by a defender, was yes. a defender who stuck up his foot and caught it, and then there was a wide-open shot for Gablehart. And he made a good play on it, just missed left of the post. Certainly the best chance we've seen of the half, though. Absolutely true. we got to stay... In this mode. 
Kennemack now won by Froelich to Priest in the midfield, but Kennemack wins it back. Now Priest still on the ball. Good nice move. turn. Finds Martin to Kelly, but he's dispossessed there. Got to pass that ball there. Can't dribble through everyone. Kinemak with some space. Uh, snuffed out by Hensler. How many times have we said that today, Mark? He's tremendous. He's just tremendous. Nothing gets by him. Oh, that's a great slide tackle from Kinemak. Froelich's checking back to try to win the ball. There's the ball through. Uh, Marcus Bizek smartly off his line. No danger really there, thanks to quick thinking from the goalkeeper. That's a long punt, one by Cannon Mac, and out for a throw for the Big Max. Our first substitute of the half's coming on. Patterson's coming off. Roman Pascarelli on for Cannon Mac. Header forward by Froelich. There's Martin on the ball. Trying to find a pass. And now Kelly driving forward, but. That's a lunar ball. <laughs> Way up high. Sandrowski now to throw it in here. Priest. Nice pass to the middle. Finds. Gablehart on the ball in the center. Gablehart looking to break free, but a good tackle there. There's Karen Mack center forward with Cam Glass right on his back. Uh, well won by Froelich there with the slide tackle. That was another nice slide tackle. We got all ball again. I just wonder about fatigue here. There's not a lot of subs. There's maybe two or three on each side. No, especially the back four for Peter Stanch have been on the entire game. That was all ball. Was a hard all tackle ball. Crowd one of the fall, no fall, no call on fit. The guy forward. ran into him. Gable Hart on the ball. Gable Hart is beats keep one flying. player. Cannon Mac is not happy. They want a penalty call. Cannon Mac wins the ball in the corner there from Gable Hart. Yellow card or something. There's, there's a foul by Gable Hart. Watch on this Mack. now. He's going to pull a card just because of the yelling and screaming from this side of the field. That was a catch up call there. Even though the other one wasn't a penalty. That was a hard foul by or Gable a foul Hart. Foul or whatever. <laughs> you know, we haven't, we haven't said much about Cam Glass today, but he's been marking the. Kennemack center forward the entire game. And I think the fact that we haven't called his name is testament to the work he's done. That's because absolutely true. That means that guy's probably not touching the ball a lot. He's not seeing the ball much. A couple of times in hold-up play, but nothing really going forward. Um, he's not been an option. Throw in from Peters Township. Logan Sawich on the throw. Flicked on there by Weiss off Kennemack for another Peters Township throw in on the touchline. Well, 10 minutes into the first half, we're still 1 0 Peters Township on the Martin goal, 28 minute and 28th minute in the first half. There's Kelly on the ball now with a turn. Looking to get it in, but cleared by Cannon Mack. Just as far as Parker Weiss, who plays it back in on the head. Cannon Mack has it out now. Weiss is on it again, but now one by Kenna Mack looking to break out. Ball ahead, one by Hensler. Out for a Kenna Mack throw. On for Kenna Mack is number 19, Vincent Aquaviva. We'll see when Coach Dyer decides to use any subs for Peters Township here. So far, 10 minutes into the second half. There's a 
collision. Oh, that'll be a foul on Cannon Mack. Logan Sautry, Peters Township will take the kick here. Froelich's been in a bunch of uh, little scrums, as I'll call them. He's playing hard. He's certainly no stranger to contact, Mark. He is not. <laughs> Ball in from Sawich. Flicked on there by Parker Weiss. Somebody's got to head that one in there. And offer a throw here from Sandrowski. Our ball boy took a spill. Hope he's all right. <laughs> Looks like he's back on his feet. That's good to see. He's tough. Yeah, those freshman players from Peters Township, uh, they know what to do. Uh, well one back by Sandrowski. And there's Parker Weiss cutting off the Kennemack pass. Lucky to go 1v1, loses the ball, but wins the throw in. Sandrowski again on the throw here. Flicked on by Kelly. Can he turn? Paris with a shot. Well saved by Simon at the Kennemack goalie. He's certainly been busy today. He has been busy. I thought that had a chance. I don't think uh, Priest got as much on that one as he had hoped. No, it seemed to be caught a little bit in his feet. Just didn't quite get the balance he wanted there, I think. Here's Kennemack winning the ball forward. Cleared by Cam Glass. Now Parker Weiss plays it out for a Kennemack throw-in. Yeah, you mentioned Cam. That's one of Bobby's favorite. If he has somebody he thinks can score on the other team, he'll put his defender all over him. Looks like there'll be a foul here on Peters Township with a dangerous set piece coming up for Cannon Mack. That was another entanglement where two guys are bumping into each other and fighting for the ball, and they both fell down. Two men on the wall for Peters Township. Looks like bzx has got it set up how he wants. Somebody better pick up number 10. So the wall might be a little too close for the Kennemack players liking here, so let the officials sort this out. And let the clock run. Let's see if Kennemack can find the back of the net here. Ball's in and cleared by Peters Township. Looked like that was going to go through to Bezak, but it, at the last moment, someone from Peters Township came and blocked it. Here comes another long throw, this time from the opposite concession stand. <laughs> no hot dogs there. Not open. And that's in the back of the net. Looked like a header from a Cannon Mac player. Those are the crazy, crazy plays that we were talking about. We've seen those throws be dangerous all night. Yes. That's Lewis Libertori, number 22 for Cannon Mack with the throw. Somebody just got a yellow card. Looks like a Cannon Mack player will be taking a break for a few minutes. Well, it's a whole new game now. 26 minutes left, Mark. Anybody could still come out on top. Very true. I don't like that, though. That just puts us in a, in a difficult position. If I wanted to get that next goal, it'd be up to. Certainly had our chances. Alex Priest would play the ball back to Weiss. Weiss plays it long to the corner, and it's... Uh, out for a Cannon Mac throw. Deep now in their end. Peters Township looked to hold him in. <laughs> Martin now to Paris. Paris looking to turn. Uh, Jevin Kelly with a shot, but a little over the bar. Kind of always leaning back on that one. Didn't quite get on top of the ball like he wanted to, I think. Yeah, we've seen a lot of those tonight. Clearing everything. Yeah. 
Well won there by Parker Weiss on the header. Priest gets the touch. But it's out for a Kinemac throw in. Just over the Sendrowski. Here's Cam Glass. Nice. Well won Play there. Up Glass. to Martin. They're one forward by Kelly. Pusateri now on the ball. Now with the feet of Martin. He's trying to get it to that left foot. Couldn't quite beat the Kanemak defender. Now Kanemak looking to break the other way. Good turn by the Kanemak attacker, but Hensler is there to clean the danger. And again, Hensler. Uh, Froelich now with some space. <coughs> Driving forward. Can he find someone? Little too far ahead of Jevin Kelly, but Froelich wins the header again. Cleared by Cannon Mack and out of danger for the moment. There's a strong tackle from Parker Weiss. That's going to be an injury for Cannon Mack. Looks like the player Number is Number 12. Okay, good. He's up. Looks like Peters Township brings a substitution on now. Cannon Mack player is coming off the field. And it's uh, Gable Harden now on the left side of attack for Peters Township. I think he's been saving Gable Hart and his speed for the end of this game. He has been the most dangerous player on the field for Peters Township today. Definitely generated a lot of attack. I'll be out for uh, another Peters Township throw there. We're a little fortunate so on that one. Take it. Into Froelich, but cleared by Cannon Mack. Out for a throw. That's a long throw by Sawich. Over the top. I don't know, Josh. The amount of times we've had the ball rolling around in front of their net, literally within the goal. Yeah, I think Peter Sanchez expected goals would definitely be above one so far. But credit the Kennebec goalkeeper. He's been on the spot a number of times. Here's a foul coming out. Kennebec kick. Long ball played by the goalkeeper. One by Parker Weiss there. Then by Jevin Kelly for Peter Township. There's Gable Hart. Looks to go long to Martin, but it might be a little bit too far just into the waiting arms of Simonette and Cannon Mack. That ball won by Sawich. Out of play for a Cannon Mack throw here. We'll see that long throw again. It's dangerous last time. Onto the field now, Gavin Patterson, number 23 for Ken Mack. Ken Mack with a long throw again, right into that dangerous area, but this time headed clear. That was a nice play. That was Logan Sawwich on the header there. That was Terry now plays it long, just out of play. <clears throat> I'll tell you, PT's gotta have to pick it up here. Yeah, Ken Mack has had the better of the play. Uh, for the last 10 minutes for sure. Out of play again for another Cannon Mac throw. Long throw to the penalty area. Again, had a clear by Peters Township. And out from Pusateri to Martin. Martin trying to turn. I'm it's not sure who was called there and why. It may have been a handball on Martin. I didn't see anything that looked like a foul. A 
I think Canada Mac will take their time now, Mark. I think a, a tie definitely favors them in the overall standing since they already have a victory against Peters Township this year. So they won't be in a hurry. I agree. I think if they knew they could come here and get a tie tonight, they, would, they wouldn't be unhappy. Let's put it that way. Ball's won there by Cannon Mack. A bit of space on the side. There's the cross coming in. We'll take it in. Peters Township finally clears the danger. There's Brett Martin winning the ball. And a turn. Looking long now. Trying to use the speed of Gable Hart, but a bit too far. Yeah, we've got to get those more to the corner, make the goalie have to think about whether he wants to come out. And Peter Township liked a little more play through the midfield, I think. I agree. Rather than those long balls from this half of the field. That's going to be a penalty kick. No, no call there. I am absolutely shocked. Our guy came down and literally bowled over the Cannon Mac player. And I don't know, but somebody is uh, getting a yellow card over here. And the Cannon Mac faithful are not happy. I think they may have a point. In I think they like do a too. Challenge there. <laughs> yes, I am literally shocked. As it is, Peter Sanchez has a throw in here. Well, we better not expect a penalty. Uh, Penalty call going the other way. Yeah, we're not getting anything in the <laughs> penalty kick. Well, I'll tell you, Mark, I've been a referee in soccer, and the, the angles are different. You see different things. So, you know, we don't see the same angle the officials do on the field. Okay. You probably have something there, I'm sure. Sandrowski for the throw. Now Martin turns. Looks like a card given to the Cannon Mac coach. I guess two of them have yellow cards. No, um, no, I think you're seeing why we have a shortage of referees. I, I can't, can't argue with there, Mark. It's a <laughs> tough thank, job, thankless job for sure. Looks, looks like we'll drop the ball to Peters Township here and resume play. Um, just under 20 minutes remaining in the half. Um, I'm interested, interested to see what happens here in the last 20 minutes, Mark. Uh, I think one of these two teams is going to um, find the back of the net here, and I don't know which team it'll be. I think you're right. Next goal is going to win. I don't think you're going to see more than one. Cannon Mack now pushing forward with a bit of space. There's a ball through. Well defended. Cam Glass again, and Caden Hensler cleans it up. Number 10, uh, that, he's a big kid, and I'll tell you what, Glass is doing a good job with him. Parker Weiss now in the middle of the field. Plays it forward, looking for Brett Martin. Cleared by Cannon Mack, but not out. Now Froelich on the ball. we got to get Froelich shooting. Yeah, he hasn't had many opportunities today, and right on cue there, Mark. Yes. Well blocked by Cannon Mack defender, though. Yes. He gets that left foot going. Oh, nice play there from Jevin Kelly driving forward. Now Froelich on the ball. It's cleared up. He was not comfortable one timing that, so he tried to move it and then lost it. There's nice one in front. In. Gable Hart with the header. Offsides. In an offside position. That was a great opportunity, though. A nice ball flighted in there. That's the, the kind of flight I'm talking about, not those ones that are 10 feet over their head. That was a nice, soft... A kick. Looks like Cannon Mac writing some substitutes. I guess 10 has served his sentence for his yellow card. <laughs> Martin on the ball now. Caden Hensler wins it forward now. Weiss on the ball with the turn. Touched by Pusateri. One there by Glass. Foul there, Cannon Mack will get a kick about 40 yards out from goal. 
That was Gavin Patterson again. And I was wrong about the number. That's a number two that uh, Glass has been covering. He's a big kid, a lot bigger than, uh, a lot bigger than Glass. Ball's handled no problem, Marcus Bizak there on one bounce. I'm sure that turf's wet, so you know you never know when those are gonna skip on you. Don't jump into him, Jevin. Good like play Houston by Jevin. Move their lineup a little bit. Jevin Kelly's moved out to the wing. Pusateri now playing the 10 in the center. There's Froelich on the ball. Nicely done to find space, and Martin. Now to Pusateri. Switches the fields well for Kelly. Yeah, great Kelly play, likes to great drive play. at the goal. And a powerful shot, looking for that top corner near post just high. Uh, so. I got to tell you, Josh, those are all just sailing just a little too high for us. Adam Smiga now on at the 10 for Pusateri. Peters Township. Uh, one there by Parker. But called for the foul. You don't see many games between these two teams where the coaches have more yellow cards than the players. <laughs> That's true. It's been been pretty tame on the field so far. Yeah, it really well has. Well-played game. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of my point. I was just kidding around with the coaches. I think they uh, – I can see why they were upset. Martin now with the chance on the side. Plays the ball forward. Here's a chance for – Martin with that speed, but – Kanemak defender does well to play the ball out of bounds and neutralize the attack. He didn't even consider chasing that down. I think that was a good play on his part. Well, I know Gabe Hart's faster than me, so I would have made the same decision. Well, a lot of people are faster than you, Josh. <laughs> hate to tell you that. <laughs> Adam Sandrowski now on the throw. Flicked on by Froelich, but cleared by Cannon Mack. Weiss wins the ball for Peters Township. A nice back heel. We'll win a throw, actually, off a can of Mac player. That was a real nice. That's what hustle will get you. Sandrowski now finding Froelich for the flick. That was a good pass. No, number eight on can of Mac. Sandrowski tracking well. And that'll be a foul on Kanemak. Just a case of somebody running for the ball, number 10, and ran over Peters Township player. Sandrowski plays it long toward the box. A bit of a tumble there. No call. The Kanemak player looks to be down and maybe injured. Peter Stauncham continuing to play a ball. Nice ball into Jevin Kelly, but he couldn't control it. Yeah, that's Gabe Fegley down there. He may have hit his head when he hit the turf there, when he got caught up with Froelich. I'm not sure, Mark. Yeah. yeah he's a good player. I hope he can – good kid. I hope he can get up, back up and get in the game. Well, the player's coming over to get a much-needed – drink here while we have the stoppage. Uh, it's been back and forth really the whole second half. Um, it really has. He's up. That's good. Walking off. Looks like he's okay, Mark. Hope to see him back on the field later in the game. Looks like 
everybody got their short rest. So where do we leave off? It'll be a goal kick coming out for Cannon Mac here. And the clock restarts with just over 13 minutes left in the game. One there by Weiss. Flicked on. Weiss again, now looking for Kelly. Just couldn't get over the head of the Kennemack defender there. But Weiss is back on the ball. You know, they've got three guys up and seven back. Jevin Kelly with a cutback. In the box now. But That was a great move, but you're not going to get that call now. Just <clears throat> Save Kenemack your strength, Jevin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hayden, That's Kenemack a problem. In the middle of the field. Uh, cleaned up nicely by Logan Solich. Great defensive track back there. That was dangerous that, from Cannon Mack. That was some back and forth. And a quick counter attack. I can tell you in any other game that would have been a penalty. He was dragged down for sure in our box. Or their box, I should say. And they almost scored on their counter attack. It looks like another player's down. That's Gavin uh, Patterson, I believe. He's been getting knocked around pretty good tonight. Maybe another head injury? I didn't see what happened on that one, Mark. Yeah. Uh, this is what you don't want to see. Um, be a great game back and forth. You don't want to see any of these young athletes injured. Yeah, it seems to be uh, happening more and more. These kids get bigger, stronger, and faster. He's played a great game. Uh, he made a nice block uh, on a ball that was in the goal in the first half. Yeah, certainly. I think the story of the first half was that Canamac defense and goalkeeping. Um, it could have easily been you know, three goals for Peters Township in the first half, and, and really the game out of reach now. Uh, as it is, it's anybody's left to play, anybody's left game, game left to win. Those are the kind of games that scare me the most too, Josh. <laughs> also the most fun, Mark. I agree. Not sure what that was. We think Caden oh. did a fake kick, and number two did a leap in the air, and. We'll go again. Hensler plays it long. They're looking for Jevin Kelly, but one by Cannon Mack. Now looking to push forward with a bit of space in the midfield. One there by Parker Weiss, but. That's going to be a yellow card. Foul, yeah. He pushed him over. I think that's the right call there. I do too. Weiss will have to come off for a break now. Yeah, he had both arms extended. and Can't do that. That's an easy call for the official. Yeah. Martin's back on. Be interested to see how Coach Dyer shifts the formation now. Martin will go back up to the nine, probably. Looks like Priest coming to the left wing. Blake on the right. And, yeah, Jevin Kelly moving back to the ten uh, with Froelich dropping into Parker's position there at the, at the six. Well, this is the group that started the game mostly, and they got a lot of attack from Peters Township. We'll see if they get some chemistry going here with this organization. Sawatch plays, does a great job there to win the ball. Held in by Cannon Mack. No, it's actually out of play. It'll be a Peters Township throw on from Sawatch there. Yeah, that was a pretty good play. I don't know how he got that ball through everyone. <laughs> Header one there by Cannon Mack. There's. Smiga playing the ball forward up in the air. One there by Kelly. But to the foot of a Cannon Mac player. There's Glass fighting off number two. Great defense from Glass and Sandrowski to win that ball. There's the touch through from Paris, but couldn't connect with Gablehart. Well headed down by Sawarch, right to the feet of Froelich. Now Froelich finds Paris on the wing. One versus one here. He's trying to set him up. Priest with a half step, but excellent defense from the Kenna Mac defender. That was Lead a nice play by 22. Township. 
looked like he was beaten, but recovered well. Looks like a foul. Yes, that's Canada what Mac, it was. Maybe coming from behind on the Peter Stoneser player. It's hard to see from this angle, but the official was right there. This is going to be a dangerous area. Let's see if Peter Stoneser can take it. Look like Fro looks on the ball now. Jeff and Kelly there with him. Will he pass it over to uh, Paris, possibly? We'll see. I wonder if they have some sort of a set piece play set up. These guys need to move back with Cannon Mac. I don't know if uh, Froelich would try to hit that high or go low. Jevin's going to run the decoy. Frolic, a nice save from the Canada Great goalie. Great save by ball the goalie. Not out. Jevin Kelly on the ball. Got to pass that. Well won from the Canada Mac defender there. Ah, uh, there's Glass holding it in. Great play by Glass. Wow, what a hustle Unfortunately play. Unfortunately off him. Ball's won for a Canada Mac throw. A couple of substitutes coming on for Canada Mac. It's good to see Gabe Fegley back on there after coming off injured a little bit earlier. All right, less than 10 minutes left now in regulation. That was ball. That was a bad call. He uh, may have called Sandrowski with the body on the top there. He definitely had an arm up. Mm. So it'll be a dangerous kick now uh, for Kanemak coming the other way. I think I've been pretty fair on these so far. I'm not buying that one. Three men on the wall for Peters Township here. I don't expect a shot from this distance from Ken and Mac, but it's a, definitely a dangerous ball. Could be whipped in. Yes, there's a ball right in the penalty area. Looks like it was won by Peters Township. Up, not quite out. Smiga on the ball now. It's going to be a throw in for Ken and Mac. That was a well-taken set piece, though, from Ken and Mac. Yeah, they're, they're, very, uh, they're w very well coached on these plays. And here the throw-in is just as dangerous, if not more so. Probably more so. <laughs> than the set piece at the distance well, here. Being that he can throw it right where he wants it. Oh, that's well done by Logan Sarge. Again, not the first time he's cleared one of those out. Look at that hustle. Paris got to that. Long distance there. Sarge again on the ball. Out for a Ken and Mac throw. Now's the time when those legs start to get heavy, Mark. We'll see. Free still's got plenty left. Um, we'll see on the field if maybe somebody can take advantage of some heavy legs and get an attack going. These guys have been moving a lot on the field today. That's tr very true, and I'll tell you what. I think it might come down to that. I would not be surprised. Ball's out for a Peters Township goal kick there. Caden wanted a yellow for the, the referee's now talking to the player, just shoved him as he went for the ball with two hands. A bump after the <laughs> extracurricular activity there, Mark. We have not seen much of that, which I'm happy to tell. Yeah, that wasn't a big deal. No. Uh, well done by Sandrowski to move that goal kick on, and then he wins the header. Got a bit of a shoulder. Well, that was an there. elbow is what that was. Reese now with an attack. Can't quite get free, though. Just, just You're a too step kind. Step faster. Like it was not quite as long as Simon Eth's been playing most of those goal kicks. One by Smiga there. Fegley from Canamac on the ball. Now Smiga with it again. And one there by Jevin Kelly. But to the foot of Fegley. Jevin Kelly wins it there. He'll drive forward with a nice ball to Gable Hart. Trying to find his way through the mess of legs, but just too many Canamac defenders in the way. Sawatch with it back. This has a chance. Oh, well done by Simonette and goal to get on that. Priest was, or Brett Martin rather, was yes. on the doorstep there. Martin was streaking through the middle. Looking for his second goal. <laughs> you know, Peter Sanchez has not been able to get Gable Hart free this half down either sideline. He's tried both the left and the right. Um, just hasn't had the 
opportunities like in the first half to use that speed. Credit to the Kennemack back line, keeping him under control. Yeah, I'm sure they didn't like what they saw in the first half with him. Well, that's a nice cross from Frolek. Sandrowski there with the ball now. Great one touch. Oh, finds Paris. Paris with a long shot, just wide. Might as well try from that distance. Kennemack can work behind the ball. Need a rebound, something. Shorter goal kick there, but finds the foot of a Kennemack player. One by Sandrowski, and again on Sandrowski on the header. Now playing it long. Priest is on the ball there, but Kennemack defender is with him. Priest keeps it in. One versus one now. Gets the ball across. Finds Frolik, but... That hit him in the shoulder. Didn't, didn't call it. Ball to him. There's Jevin Kelly with some space, looking for a shot, and... Oh. Wow, I believe that took out the goalie's water bottle just wide of the post. And nine out of ten times, that's in the back of the net, Mark. I am shocked, Josh, I got to tell you. He moved it right in front. I thought Jevin had that one. Looks like Paris is now coming off. Parker Weiss is back on after serving some time off for that earlier card. Um, looks like Parker's now in the 10, playing that attacking center midfield role. Flicked on there by Gable Hart. Martin's trying to chase it down. Oh, cleared, but right to the feet of Gable Hart. Oh, well won there by the Kennemack defender, though. I don't know where the passes are underneath, but we've got to find them. Yeah, it seems like just one touch too many sometimes. That'll happen when those legs get tired. Yeah, you're right. Now down you're the line, Sandrowski there with the goal score from Ken and Mack. Uh, I think that one's a good no call, Mark. I did not see a foul there. He definitely bumped him a little in the back, but I don't think he knocked him over. Sandrowski now with the throw in. Uh, Ken and Mack bench does not agree, but I don't blame him. Flicked down by Parker to Jevin Kelly. That one by Kenna Mack. Kenna Mack player now advancing the ball, but well won there by Sandrowski. I'll tell you what, Sandrowski's played a heck of a game, and he's very athletic. I didn't realize how athletic that kid is. He's had to show that speed down the touchline there multiple times. I mean, look and at that. He kept he the ball again, in play. Winning it with the outside of his foot. Exactly. Kelly with a long ball now, looking for Martin. That ball's out of play. It'll be a Peters Township throw in. Just about two and a half minutes left now. Well, I don't have any more tries we're going to get. It's like ball's out of play for a Cannon Mac throw in. Uh-oh, something's like wrong with Parker. Weiss He's not getting up. Awkwardly there. Looking for a trainer. I hope he didn't twist anything. Yeah, he was injured earlier in the season, right? And he's just been back last couple games. Certainly made a difference for Peter Township having him in the lineup. He's very vocal. He's, a, he's an excellent player. And, uh, a leader on this team. Yeah, the fact that he's not moving... That left leg. Oh, that would be great if it's just a cramp. Ball's back in play here. Clock starts again. Two minutes left to play. Both teams looking for a goal to end this in regulation. Kennemack now with a, an opportunity on attack. There's Cam Glass again. All day, just a stand-up defensive job. Yeah, he's, uh, he's at least 30 pounds uh, outweighed, and he's done a great job. That number two is a pretty good player. He's getting good positions, and Cam's not letting him have it. There's a long throw again. Should be dangerous into the box. Oh, bounced high. Marcus Bizak cleans it up, though. That's not one you like to see at this point in the game, Mark. Not at all. 
minute 20 to go. You don't want it rattling around in your cage. Well, there's a long kick, one by Kanemak, but now to the feet of Gablehart. Gablehart beats one man, but can't get the ball through. Jevin Kelly looking to turn. Driving forward now. We got in Kenemak defense there on the spot. Well won by Smiga on the slide tackle. Now Paris outside. Looking to get that ball on his right foot. There's Kelly. There's a shot from Kelly, but always going high. That may do it, Mark. 50 seconds left. Yeah, this is going to be tough to try to knock one in now. We may be on our way to some free soccer here. <laughs> well... They're going to call it a tie. I don't think there'll be uh, overtime. Are they going to go into overtime tonight? I believe they will play overtime tonight. Don't they play two fives? I think they uh, only do it in the playoffs, but we'll find out. Uh, maybe a chance for Cannon Mac. No. Froelich snuffs Froelich. It out. He's trying to move forward quickly, looking for one last attack from Peters Township in the last 10 seconds. Looks like that's cleaned up by Cannon Mac there. Um, that'll do it for regulation, Mark. 1-1, one, one. Cannon Mac, Peter Township. A well-played game on both sides. Uh, we saw opportunities from both teams that did not find the back of the net. Yeah, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of frustrating, uh, tying this up. Okay, we're back for overtime here. Cannon Mac versus Peter's Township. Ten minutes on the clock. There'll be two two ten minute periods, and the game will end if, if either team scores. Well, Josh, I hope we're up to this. I'd like to see us get one quick. That's the way you draw it up on the bench. We'll see if there's anything that the coaches came up with uh, schematically that could help. It could be a set piece, corner kick. Yeah, I knew they do have things they say for late in the game or overtime. These kind of situations. I'm sure both teams have have practiced for this situation. And Mac Faithful doesn't like number two being double teamed, and uh, I keep thinking the same for Froelich. <laughs> well, those players are dangerous, especially this time of the game. Yep. You want to be careful. Just I don't blame them. Can change it. There's Priest on the ball now. Looking to find a pass. He gets it wide. Is that Gablehart now on the ball? Driven with his left foot, but didn't quite get a lot on it. No real danger for the Cannon Mac goalkeeper there. He's played really well. Yeah, just not enough mustard on that one. One there by Cannon Mac. Looking to play the corner. Hensler's there to clean up the danger. Although with the Cannon Mac throws, there's a lot of danger anytime we get here. That's how they scored the goal. Yeah, I got to be honest, Josh. I think we might be better off trying to kick those back up the field. The thing is, you don't want to kick them into the player, having it end up behind you again. That happened earlier, and almost we almost gave up one. Ball into the box. Goalie out with a punch. That was and a nice play by Marcus. One there by Froelich. Forward by Jevin. Just can't find the foot of. That was Blake Gable Hart, I think. Uh, Sandrowski on it, looking to go long, but it. Comes sideways off his foot. Not Gable Hart on the ball, though. Paris out to Martin. Looking to head it back. Brett Martin out control now on the side. Finds Kelly. Back to Martin now. Quick left foot in. Oh, and it's out for a Peter Township corner. Great job by the Kennemack defender to clear the danger. That's what I'm talking about, Josh. Instead of dribbling in and through people right there, those were some good passes. Some good ball movement there. Yeah, gave us a chance. Looks like Kelly to take the outswinging corner here. Martin with a deep run. That Great ball's ball. a dangerous place. Headed out by Cannon Mac, but not quite clear. Now it's clear the danger. Hensler will collect it and play it back in. Right to the feet of Smiga, but can't find a teammate. Cam Glass again there with a good defensive play. Nice flick by Kelly. Finds Gablehart. Now forward from Sawwich up to Froelich on the ball now. Again, Froelich with some excellent footwork to find space. Kelly now. This is much better from Peters Township attack. There's Paris. Turns. 
What a save from the Kennemack goalie. Froelich still on the ball. Here's Sandrowski looking to play it in. Can't find the head of Martin. Smiga keeps it in. Kennemack clears the danger for now. Sandrowski plays it back, flicked on by Kelly. Right to Martin. That was very acrobatic. Priest now driving forward. Continuing on the ball. Looks like we'll get a foul called in a very dangerous area here. That is just outside the box. Peters has come out full force. Yes. Definitely Firing on all cylinders at this point. Yes, that was kind of what we wanted to see, right? A little more ball movement, a little more dynamic play. Um, all three Peters players. Then it looks like it'll be either Froelich or Kelly. Uh, my money's on Froelich to take this one. This is definitely an area where we could see a shot far enough out to get it up and over the wall and back down. I wouldn't be surprised to see Kelly kick it, but he didn't. Froelich takes the kick, but it's wide. That was a darn good left foot. Wow. I'll tell you. First five minutes of the overtime, and Peter Township has been on the front foot. These are the kind of games you got to close them out. So he's got an arm Good turn extended. Canna Mac there wins it. He's calling that one. There's a foul on Sandrowski. A little bit of pushing going back and forth. We'll see if they give a penalty here, though. Was it inside the oh box? Oh, my goodness. They're going to call it on the it's 10. Outside the box. I don't know about that one, Mark. I, I just don't think a penalty is going, to kick, is going to be called in this game. Hasn't and won't. They've, they've set that up early. This is a dangerous kick, though. This Looks kid's like a lefty. He's got a strong kick. Fegley will be taking it. And you have to imagine he's going to be shooting here. He'll be shooting. That was a well-taken shot. Just wide of the post. I don't think there's anything Marcus Bizak's going to do about that one. If that's on frame, no goalie in the state saving that ball. That was power to that upper left corner. Well, ball one there by Solich. Looks like we're going to foul on Kenemak for pushing the back. Taking short from Solich there. Good play. Weiss on the ball now. Good turn. Now he plays it into the box. Goal was post shot. That was off. The, was that off the football goal post? Yeah, it hit okay. the football goal I'm not sure post. If that hit the hit the corner of the soccer goal post or not. So a little high. It may have ricocheted down and hit it. But it was out of play from the beginning there. Okay. Uh, one by Sandrowski there, but it's out for a Kenemak throw. Now Kenemak tries to go quickly. Sandrowski recovers well. Uh, there's Hensler to clean it up. Ball's not quite out yet. And one. It's going to be a corner kick for Kenemak, actually. Okay. Hensler thought it was ours, but Kenemak's got the corner kick, as you said. I don't see a Kenemak player down there to take the corner. Okay, now someone comes out. We'll see what they can draw up. Like we talked about, set pieces can be really important. We just saw Fegley with nearly a goal score off a set piece. We saw Froelich one earlier. Let's see what Kanemak has in store for this corner. Five guys in. There was a that went over the back of the run. net. Just over the top. That was the play as the guy was gonna come from the far post across. He was gonna sail it over everyone in front. That worked beautifully, yeah, except well, it didn't well go executed. in. Wow, that was close. I'm sure the Peters Township coaches don't like to see that clean of a header coming off a corner. They like to have a body on that guy. 
He did have a lot of steam on it. Kennebec now driving forward. And that ball's in the back of the net. That's right, he beat him to the ball. Fiziak came out to save it, but he beat him to it. And uh, Ryan Galsiak. That's all there is. Second goal of the game to win it for Cannon Mack. Yeah, tough loss for Peters. Yeah, great game both sides. Yes, yes it was. Difficult to go down this way, but you gotta hand it to both teams. The players fought hard. And